So let's take a look at the ga particles. Okay. So for example, you have learned that it's fixed for things like ga suki des, ga kirai des, ga hoshi des in the earlier lessons. So now you actually learn there's also ga arimas, ga imas. So please take note of all this. So you can take a look at the first two. The first two are actually uh, related, you know, like and dislike. They are both na adjectives, by the way. Remember why kirai is a na adjective? This is an exception. Okay, and there's hoshi des. Ga arimas and ga imas, you can also group them together because they are they have the same meaning, just that it's one's for living thing and one's for non-living things. So you realize that in front of ga is probably an object. I like something. I dislike something. I want something. There is something. Okay, so usually it's an object. So actually this ga right kind of focuses, emphasizes on the object before. So in the same way, who, what, where, when, which. Okay, basically they are focusing on, you know, all these questions. So when you have questions, and if it doesn't end with a deska, for example, it's not dare deska, nan deska, doko deska, dore deska, itsu deska, dochiya deska. As long as it doesn't end with a, you know, at the end of sentences, you start with it instead. Dare ga, nani ga, doko ga, dore ga, itsu ga. Okay. So all this right are basically uh, you will have to use ga. Uh, for some other things like how, okay, it's actually this it actually it's actually an adverb it describes the verb how you do this, how you do that. So so you don't have this ga form. And uh doshte, which is why you also don't have this ga form. It's just for all these that I'm listed here. Okay, that as well as dochira ga, remember dochira, kochira, sochira, achira. Dochira, they actually come, you can actually have two meanings. One is uh, who, you know, in a very polite way, or it can be uh, where, because it means a uh, which side. Okay? So, as well as Dochira, all this. So, they kind of like emphasize on the who, what, where, when, which. Okay? So, in this case, it kind of, kind of focuses on the thing before it, the noun before it. So in this case, you can see that uh, there are two different types. One are uh, questions, and the other is uh, fixed, uh, fixed expressions. However, there's an exception when you use um, you use wa instead as a subject particle. So when it's negative. So for example, right? Okay, uh, okay. So if you don't say watashi wa ringo ga suki desu, you say. Lingo ga suki de. So in this case, you take off, take away the uh, subject particle. Your ringo is just, you since it's just ringo ga suki de, basically, um, ringo is now the uh, subject particle. So for subject particles, right, if it's negative, you can actually put wa. For example, uh, ringo wa suki ja arimasen. Ringo wa kirai ja arimasen. It's not that I hate ring uh apples. It's not that I like apples. Ringo wa hoshiku nai desu or hoshiku arimasen. So all this you can change to wa. Okay, and for arimasen, imasen can use either wa or ga.